a 3 dicom video. In this video, we'll be looking at 2D measurements in 3 dicom light. So 3 dicom light, being the first tier of 3 dicom, uh, provides basic 2D measurement tools. The 3D volume rendered model is compiled from a series of DICOMS files. These are typically stored in slices and we're able to very accurately extract the DICOM slice data uh, for the measurement between the different pixels and between the, the slice thickness to accurately recreate the patient specific anatomy in 3D. With 3 dicom light, we uh, only provide 2D measurement tools uh, as it is the uh, most basic uh, tier. So to do this, you must use the 2D views and you can click the full screen icon on the, the right to full screen any of the 2D views. You can then use the length tool and click and drag to create a marker. You can see here that it's roughly 79.49 millimeters and we can grab either side of these and move it around to uh, measure different lengths and different anatomy. We also have a polygon tool here where you can click and drag or you can click and create various uh, points and this allows you to click and drag and create polygons and then grab these points again to move them around. It will read out the area in millimetres squared and provide you a perimeter as well. Finally, we have the circle tool, which allows you to create a uh, typical circle, but also to move it around by clicking and dragging on your standard uh, movement icon to rotate it or to create an ellipse, an eclipse. So you can grab each one of these markers to create your circle and move it around the screen as well. Again, this provides you with a area measurement and a circumference. The difference between 3 dicom light and 3 dicom pro and surgical is uh, are numerous and include the fact that 3 dicom light does not allow you to store your measurements uh, and it does also, also does not allow for 3D measurements. It is also worth noting that at this point in time, May 2021, uh, 3 DICOM is not diagnostically approved. However, great efforts and quality assurance have been taken uh, to provide rough estimates uh, so that patients and medical practitioners can review uh, their scans and make uh, relatively accurate measurements. Thanks for watching the video, and as always, if you have any questions, please contact us, support at singular.health.